Hey everybody, it's Matt again for God and Gears, and uh, this is episode 65, and tonight I'm going to talk about Jesus' disciples. And so I'm going to be in Matthew chapter 10, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 8. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these, first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, and Babaeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, also, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the, Samar of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. So the... Twelve were called disciples, and that just means they were learners or followers. They were also called the apostles or the sent ones. And so all believers, we should be disciples of Christ. But these twelve in particular, um, they, were they were taught directly by Jesus. And uh, so for whenever Jesus was ministering for three and a half years, they were, Jesus was teaching them. And so... They were specifically sent out into the world by Jesus, and that was therefore making them Jesus' apostles, his 12 apostles. Uh, later, after uh, Jesus died, uh, there was a few others like Paul with uh, similar training, and he was also commissioned directly by Christ, uh, and he was recognized as an apostle also. And so this designation, it's not appropriate for others, especially anyone after the apostolic period. And I've mentioned before how Jesus, he's the only person that has changed the world. And so when he died on the cross 2,000 years ago, you know, he didn't stay dead. He rose again. And uh, Jesus used his apostles at that time to share his gospel and to spread the gospel uh, throughout the world. And the world has been a better place uh, for that. So how does this apply to us today? And when we share our faith with others... It gives them, the people that we're sharing faith with, it gives them a hope, you know, of a Savior. Uh, it gives them hope of everlasting life. And, and so not only are we being obedient to God's word uh, whenever we share his gospel, but we're helping spread his word and we're helping to change lives of others throughout the whole world. Uh, there's people that God uh, puts in our lives. We need to mentor them, uh, encourage them, and just... Whoever it is, I mean, everybody has different, there's so many different scenarios in, our, in each and every individual life that just be open to what God has you to want you to do, you know, so then everything that we do for Christ, it grows his kingdom. And that's the whole purpose of, of everything that we do, because it's always about God's kingdom. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pray. It's just a, a short message tonight, uh, simple, basic, but we'll go ahead and pray and then talk about the car here. <clears throat> Dear Lord Jesus, thank you again, Lord, for this day and for your blessings, Lord. Thank you that, uh, you know, you died and rose again. That's the, the, the most thing we're thankful of. We're grateful for that, Lord. But then you, you pick 12 chosen, Lord, that, you know, shared the gospel with people, you know, with your people first. And then, Lord, they went to the Gentiles. And, and therefore, you know, we have your holy word today, 2,000-some uh, years later. And we're so thankful for that, Lord. Lord, help us not to waste it, though. You know, help us to encourage others, uh, share your word, and uh, Lord, stay strong in the faith, Lord, especially the, the days that we're living in, just crazy times. But Lord, we know you're the king, and uh, we can overcome everything through you. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. So last week we we're cutting, well, actually the kids haven't been here the last couple weeks because of the holidays, Christmas and New Year's, but I was here myself, and I was just cutting more bracing out of the back, some rusty stuff, and I got a little bit more to do in there on the floor, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to put this other new brace in right above the axle here, 
and then I'm going to get these floor braces in and then I'm going to start working on the rocker panel over there, the inner and outer and the floor and everything like that. So again, making progress. Uh, it's not going to go quickly though. And I still have some touch up to do on the original metal and get some of that stuff back to where it should be. But, uh, yeah, we're making progress for sure. We're doing good. <clears throat> so I also just want to thank everybody. I want to thank Hilltop for the use of the garage. Uh, Stacy for doing the videos. She's here this week. And, uh, you know, earlier in the week I had somebody that I'm not going to mention. Uh, somebody gave me a monetary donation. And obviously I'm not, they don't want to be named. And they don't uh, need to know how much or anything like that. But it's funny because God provides. And... I don't ask for donations, but if someone's going to give it, I'll take it uh, for sure. Cause this is uh, a ministry for God, <clears throat> but it's funny how Satan works and, uh, things that have happened throughout the year. I'll mention later, whenever the car is done, I'll mention some things later and you can just see how God moves. And so just, I want to keep everybody to stay encouraged, uh, stay focused and, uh, have a good week. All right. We'll see you next week.